Hi guys, my name is Abba. Welcome back to my amazing kitchen. Today on the menu, we are cooking some fish light soup on a budget. It's another amazingly delicious recipe guys. So come along and let's get right into the video. So this salmon head is going to be the star of our soup. Before you frown, I also had the same reaction the first day I saw this, but stick around and you will know that this actually works. I bought this from my fish market. Sometimes it comes with only the head and other times too it comes with the body or the bones. So for this soup, I'll be using two of these. There is actually no right or wrong way in cleaning this fish or cutting it, but the idea is to get a lot of meat quote unquote from the fish without destroying it. So I first cut off the fins and then cut the visible meat that I see and this is what I am left with. Now this portion is very close to the gut so we have some of the gut attached to it. You want to remove that and also descale it. You can use a knife to do this, but I find that using a very good kitchen scissors works faster. I now move on by removing every part that I wouldn't want to eat, such as the guts and the mouth or the teeth of the fish. So since this is a very big fish head, I'm going to cut it into two so that I can remove the rest of the guts properly. Doing it like this will also give you more volume and once you open up the head, it will also infuse more flavor into your soup. So I'm now left with two halves of the head and I'm going to remove the guts as well from the second half and put it aside. So I now move on with the bones which I like to call the body. So I first cut off the tail and then I cut off the fins as well and then I cut it into you know manageable sizes. I try to use the portions closer to the tail because that's where most of the meat is and then I don't add the middle part to my soup because most of the bones are exposed but I keep it and use it for fish stock so I don't throw it away. So like I mentioned I'm using two of these for the soup so I'm going to wash this put it aside and continue with the second one. So after cleaning all two of my fish heads, this is what I'm left with. And so I'm going to clean it with some lemon to get rid of any fishy smell. I will also allow it to sit in the lemon water for just about 5 minutes. Don't do it for too long or the acidity in the lemon will begin to cook your fish. So after 5 minutes, I'm going to rinse my fish a couple of times and then drain it off and then my fish will be ready for the soup. As you may know, salmon is very meaty so with just two salmon heads, this is what we were able to get out of it. And eyi oyenampankasa onyenkase. So with our fish cleaned, let's get started with our soup. So for the base of my soup, I'll be using some cured beef, which is tolo beef or salted beef. And I'm also adding some mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms of your choice. Now I go ahead and add my fish, which is now thoroughly cleaned. I now transfer my pot to my stove and add about 2 teaspoons of my all-natural homemade soup seasoning. I will link that recipe somewhere for you to check it out. But you can use any spices or seasoning that you would want to have in your fish soup. 
Next, I go ahead and add just a little bit of salt for now because of the cured beef. Then in goes my aromatics and I'm using some blended garlic, ginger, onion, peppers, spring onion, some calabash nutmeg, you know, some good stuff. So you can use any aromatics of your choice. Now add enough water to cover the fish. Fish soup doesn't take much time to cook, so you want to add enough water to cover your fish now so that it will be flavored right from the onset. Now cover and allow this to cook gently on a low medium heat. So whilst our fish is gently cooking away, I'm going to add about 4 ripe tomatoes to a separate pot and add an onion. And I'm also going to add a 3 normal sized carrots. I'm going to cut the carrots into chunks just so that they can cook faster. Now add enough water to cover this and bring this to a boil. So once your tomatoes and your carrots are softened, you want to take it off your heat and blend it until it becomes very smooth. Now I like my soup very light, I mean it's not called a light soup for no reason. So I'm going to strain my blended mixture over my soup. But if you want your soup to be thick, then you don't need to strain it. It also depends on how well your blender can blend. I also rinsed off my blender with just a little bit of water and added that to my soup as well. And this is what I am left with after straining my blended mixture. And I definitely don't want this in my soup. Now give your soup a gentle stir and allow this to simmer gently for about 20 to 25 minutes and your soup will be done. So this is after about 20 minutes and our soup is almost done. I'm going to give it a gentle stir and then add some peppers. You know fish and spiciness go hand in hand. But to control the heat, you just add the peppers and everybody can make it as spicy as they want for themselves. So I now taste for salt because I added just a little bit at the beginning and it needed just a little bit more. So I added it and allowed it to cook for about 5 minutes. So now that our soup is almost done, this would be the perfect time to start kaying your fufu. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just go ahead and make your fufu because our soup is done at this point. I have a very perfect and simple no box potato fufu on the channel. I'm going to link it somewhere so you can check it out right after watching this video and have yourself a good bowl of fufu. Now just look at our fish, everything stayed intact without it falling apart because of the gentle heat we used. So the next time you walk past your fish market, make sure to grab a salmon head and come make this delicious soup for yourself. I mean it's inexpensive, they are practically almost giving it away on the fish market. And I am always fascinated by how simple and inexpensive ingredients like this can become an amazingly delicious meal for the family. So until I come your way next time with another amazing recipe. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye!